Hi, my name is Lila Robbins. I'm an actress, and I'll have what he's having. <laughs> <clears throat> the office has concluded its investigation into links and coordination between the Russian government and individuals associated with the Trump campaign. Certain proceedings associated with the office's work remain ongoing. After cons consultation with the Office of the Deputy Attorney General, the office has transferred responsibility for those remaining issues to other components of the Department of Justice and FBI. Appendix D lists those transfers. Two dr district courts confirm the breadth of the special counsel's authority to investigate Russian election interference and links and or coordination with the Trump campaign. In the course of conducting that investigation, the office periodically identified evidence of potential criminal activity that was outside the scope of the special counsel's authority established by the acting attorney general. After consultation with the office of the deputy attorney general, the office referred that evidence to appropriate law enforcement authorities, principally other components of the Department of Justice and to the FBI. Appendix D summarizes those referrals. To carry out the investigation and prosecution of the matters assigned to him, the special counsel assembled a team that at its high point included 19 attorneys, five of whom joined the office from private practice and 14 on detail or assigned from other Department of Justice components. These attorneys were assisted by a filter team of department lawyers and FBI personnel who screened materials obtained via a court process for privilege information before turning those materials over to investigators, a, a support staff of three paralegals on detail from the department's antitrust division, and an administrative staff of nine responsible for budget, finance, purchasing, human resources, records, facilities, security, information technology, and administrative support. The special counsel attorneys and support staff were co-located with and worked alongside approximately 40 FBI agents, intelligence analysts, forensic accountants, a paralegal, and professional staff assigned by the FBI to assist the special counsel's investigations. Those, quote, assigned, unquote, FBI employees remained under FBI supervision at all times. The matters on which they assisted were supervised by the special counsel. During its investigation, the office issued more than 2,800 subpoenas under the auspices of a grand jury sitting in the District of Columbia, executed nearly 500 search and seizure warrants, obtained more than 230 orders for communications records under 18 USC, obtained almost 50 orders authorizing use of pen registers, made 13 requests to foreign governments pursuant to mutual legal assistant treaties, and interviewed approximately 500 witnesses, including almost 80 before a grand jury. Before its inception, the office recognized that its investigation could identify foreign intelligence and counterintelligence information relevant to the FBI's broader national security mission. FBI personnel who assisted the office established procedures to identify and convey such information to the FBI. The FBI's counterintelligence, counterintelligence division met with the office regularly for that purpose for most of the office's tenure. For more than the past year, the FBI also embedded personnel at the office who did not work on the special counsel's investigation, but whose purpose was to review the results of the investigation and to send, in writing, summaries of the foreign intelligence and counterintelligence information to FBI HQ and FBI field offices. These communications and other correspondence between the office and the FBI contain information derived from the investigation, not all of which is contained in this volume. This volume is a summary 
It contains, in the office's judgment, that information necessary to account for the special counsel's prosecution and declination decisions and to describe the investigation's main factual results. I got the Russian name, okay. Number two, Russian Active Me Measures Social Media Campaign. The first form of Russian election influence came principally from the Internet Research Agency, LLC, IRA, a Russian organization funded by Yevgeny Viktorovich Prigozhin and, and companies he controlled, including Concord Management and Consulting LSC and Concord Catering. The IRA conducted social media operations targeted at large U.S. audiences with the goal of sowing discord in the U.S. political system. These operations constituted, quote, active measures, unquote, a term that typically refers to operations conducted by Russian security services aimed at influencing the course of international affairs. The IRA and its employees began operations targeting the United States as early as 2014. Using fictitious U.S. personas, IRA employees operated social media accounts and group pages designed to attract U.S. audiences. These groups and accounts, which address divisive U.S. political and social issues, falsely claimed to be controlled by U.S. activists. Over time, these social media accounts became a means to reach large U.S. audiences. IRA employees traveled to the United States in mid-2014 on an intelligence gathering mission to obtain information and photographs for use in their social media posts. IRA employees posted derogatory information about a number of candidates in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. By early to mid-2016, IRA operations included supporting the Trump campaign and disparaging candidate Hillary Clinton. The IRA made various expenditures to carry out those activities, including buying political advertisements on social media in the names of U.S. persons and, and entities. Some IRA employees posing as U.S. persons and without revealing their Russian association communicated electronically with individuals associated with the Trump campaign and with other, other political activists to seek to coordinate political activities, including the staging of political rallies. The investigation did not identify evidence that any U.S. persons knowingly or intentionally coordinated with the RIA's interference operation. By the end of the 2016 U.S. election, the IRA had the ability to reach millions of U.S. persons through their social media accounts. Multiple IRA-controlled Facebook groups and Instagram accounts had hundreds of thousands of U.S. participants. IRA-controlled Twitter accounts separately had tens of thousands of followers, including multiple U.S. political figures who retweeted IRA-created content. In November 2017, a Facebook representative testified that Facebook had identified 470 IRA-controlled Facebook accounts that collectively made 80,000 posts between January 2015 and August 2017. Facebook estimated the IRA reached as many as 126 million persons through its Facebook accounts. In January 2018, Twitter announced that it had identified 3,814 IRA-controlled Twitter accounts and notified approximately 1.4 million people Twitter believed may have been in contact with an IRA-controlled account. A. Structure of the Internet Research Agency. Redacted. The organization quickly grew, redacted. The growth of the organization also led to a more detailed organizational structure, redacted. 
Social media influence in the 2016 U.S. election hearing before the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. Testimony of Colin Stretch, general counsel of Facebook, quote, we estimate that roughly 29 million people were served content in their news feed directly from the IRA's 80,000 posts over the past two years. Posts from these pages were also shared, liked, and followed by people on Facebook. And as a result, three times more people may have been exposed to a story that originated from the Russian operation. Our best estimate is that approximately 126 million people may have been served content from a page associated with the IRA at some point during the two-year period. The Facebook representative also testified that Facebook had identified 170 Instagram accounts that posted approximately 120,000 pieces of content during that time. Facebook did not offer an estimate of the audience reached via Instagram. Um, Twitter update on Twitter's review of the 2016 U.S. election. See, redacted, 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 redacted. Two individuals headed the IRA's management, its general director, Mikhail Borchik and his executive director, excuse me, two individuals headed the IRA's management, its general director, Mikhail Bistrov, and its executive director, Mikhail Borchik, redacted. As early as the spring of 2014, the IRA, IRA began to hide its funding and activities, redacted. The IRA's U.S. operations are part of a larger set of interlocking operations known as, quote, Project LACTA, redacted. B, funding and oversight from Concord and Priskoyan. Until at least February 2018, Yevgeny Vik Viktorovich Prigojin and two Concord companies funded the IRA. Prigojin is a wealthy Russian businessman who served as the head of Concord. Redacted, redacted, redacted.